Thanking you for the sweet Holy Spirit that I felt this morning. Lord, thank you for that place that you're going to take us to one of these days, God. But I thank you for all the ones that's represented here this morning, the ones that couldn't be here. Lord, we pray for them. Lord, we thank you for the money that you've sent here today, God, that we might could up build your kingdom with it. Lord, now be with us. Lead God and direct through the after service. For it's in your blessed holy name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
thank God for what God's doing in this little church and uh, 
we've been really a praying about a lot of things and uh, been a praying about uh, these youngins. Uh, Bless your heart, huh? We've been a praying about these kids and a youth choir. And uh, the brother was telling us, Brother Jared, the other night, the other evening, we started to leave last Sunday, and he said that if we had a little piano out in the fellowship hall, he'd play the piano for them and help them. So I think I found a little piano. So you pray. There's a sister over on the help and said she had a piano, a small piano, and uh, got all the keys and everything, just what we need. And she said she's thinking about selling it. Said he's in her way. Didn't play it anymore. <coughs> Looks like a brand new one. So, church, you be a praying. If it's a piano God wants us to have, and, and I'm going to say this this morning, and praise God, you better get ready. All of you young adults and all of you folks that sing in this church, praise God, you need to be a part of this youth choir. Amen. 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 I'm proud of these young people that stand here every Sunday and, and they go to revivals everywhere we're at and they sing and they praise God. It's time we step out on faith and this youth choir is going to change a lot of lives. God showed me. Amen. Amen. And everybody that wants to be in this thing can be in it. Amen. You've got a spot in this thing. Amen. We're getting ready to where everybody can sing together. Amen. It's fixing to get good. Well, God showed me. Amen. I didn't even ask about this piano, but God sent it anyway, so you pray real hard. So if you will, turn with me over in the book of Genesis in the 41st chapter this morning. And I was reading the other night about 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was sitting there reading, and Mom was asleep, and I'd been all over the Bible, and God is just a deal with my heart. And, and I was thinking about what kind of times we was living in, and the things that was going on in life, Brother Keith, and I thought, praise God, about the things that God had showed me and the things that was coming. And I began to think about this Scripture here, and it just kept coming to my mind. And I got over in the book of Genesis, brother, about 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was reading, and God is a blessing. and Amen. And praise God, it's hard to be quiet. Amen. Everybody is sleeping. I don't know about everybody else, but I can't hardly stand it sometimes. But this Scripture come to my heart. And there's a verse in this scripture that come on my mind and praise be unto God and, and it just stuck right out at me. And amen, everybody knows the story of Joseph, how he was sold into bondage and praise God by his brothers and amen and, and how his brother took him out and sold him down into bondage, amen. They took him and put him in a pit, amen. And but they took him out and sold him, amen. And he ended up in the king's house, praise God. And amen. I'm gonna try to make a long story short this morning and get down to where I was wanting to preach from this morning, but praise be unto God how he come into the king's court and how everybody that he come in contact with, God gave him favor in their eyes, amen, and they all fell in love with him. And the king's wife, amen, she decided that she wanted Joseph, amen, and tried to get him to lay with her and even grabbed a hold of his clothes and he had to run, amen, and left his cloak in, the, in her house. And praise God, she declared that he tried to make her lay with him and lied and got him put in prison. She thought she'd get back at him, but pray be unto God with the little old boy, amen, that God had chosen all we honor was for a purpose, amen. amen. Pray be unto God and Messiah. He began to tell his brothers a dream, and this is how come they put him in a pit, amen, and sold him into bondage. He began to tell them how that they would bow down to him and pay him homage, amen. amen. Them and their father and all the nations, amen. Even the moon and the stars would bow down unto him. Praise God, and they made fun of him, brother, and they shut him up in a pit and then sold Hold him in the bondage, amen. But praise be unto God, old Joseph was chosen of God. And many years went by. Praise God, he ended up in the king's prison. Now listen, I've got to get to this and I'll get down to the 41st chapter in a minute. Praise be unto God in the Bible said, amen, he was in the part of the prison. Oh, there, amen, and there was a bowler and a baker with him. Now I'm going to just slow down a minute. Because somebody needs to see this. Many years had went by. Joseph had seen a lot of things and seemed like every time he tried to do something right, something else happened. But he ended up in the king's prison, amen. You see, God had a plan. I told you that this morning. And brother, praise God that there was a butler and a baker of the king's palace, amen, who shut up in prison with him. And they began to have a dream. 
And Joseph, amen, was touched by God and he began to interpret the dream. Amen. He told the mother, said, you'll be restored to your mother's ship. Amen. In the king's palace. But he told the baker, he said, they're going to take you out. Hang you on a tree. Amen. And they're going to hang you there and kill you. And the fowls of the hour will come and eat from your flesh. Amen. And it come to pass. And praise God. But he told them one thing. And it's come to my mind. At one o'clock in the morning. Amen. Joseph told him. Amen. He said, but now when? You're restored into your butler ship. He said, remember me. Amen. Down there in the inner parts of the prison. He said, remember right. me. And this is where we're going to get at this morning. Praise God. It happened just like the man of God said. He was chosen of God for a reason. And I'll get to this. Praise be unto God. But the Bible said, Amen. In the 41st chapter of the book of Genesis, starting with the first verse, Amen. Joseph had told him, said, Whenever you get back to your mothership, said, You remember me. And the Bible said this, Whew. And it came to pass at the end of two years that Pharaoh dreamed, and behold, he stood by the river. Amen. And I'll get to this in a minute. But the Bible said after two full years. Brother Keith, do you know how we pray and how we read this book? We read it, amen, and we thank that God performs it right as it said it, amen. Yeah. Praise God, but on the miracles of God, there was a timetable in the Word of God. Amen, praise God, brother. They've been many years past till Joseph got down to the prison. But after he had stole the butler's sister to remember him, the Bible said after two full years, he remained in prison for two long years after he done told the butler and he restored the butler's sin. Amen, but I believe he kept believing that God is going to answer. Amen. And the Bible said after two years, that God in a dream on the king. Amen. Praise God. Things are fixing to unfold. Amen. And you don't even know it. Amen. <laughs> the Bible said that he dreamed after two years. Joseph was about to get used by God. I don't know what's happened in your life, but God's got a plan. Amen. Times has passed and it seemed like it ain't getting no better, but things is about to change. Amen. At one o'clock in the morning, God said, Go tell my people. Things are about to change. Say, preacher, you've lost your mind. I may be, but Brian, I see things are coming. That people have no idea what's about to happen. Please. Joseph A. Mack could see something. He interpreted the dream. And the bowler told the king it happened just like he said it would. Amen. Praise God, but nobody else could interpret it. Shoo. I'm not going to read all this. I'm going to preach to it. Really not. Because I've got another verse of scripture on my mind. I'll get to it in a minute. And praise God, Brother Mitchell. The Bible said that he dreamed a dream and the king was on the river bank. And out of the river comes seven fat kind, amen. Blood fat and fat. Swell flavored, the Bible said. If you don't want to know what he's talking about, he's talking about cattle. There was seven of them come out of the river and they found, amen, they grazed along the river and the grass. And the Bible said there was seven lean day kind come out starved and withered, amen, the Bible said. And the Bible said that when they come out of the river, praise be unto God that they swallowed up the fat kind. Amen, but he didn't look like he's full, the Bible said. That's what scared the king. They gobbled up that that was well favored. Amen, and praise God they just still skinny. The Bible said it is seven years of corn come up out of the river well favored amen and full and the Bible said there was seven that was withered came up out of the out of, out of the river brother it was blistered amen and withered amen but the Bible said it swallowed up the seven amen and the king brought in his soothsayers and the witchcraft amen they could not answer his dreams and the Bible said hey but I remember one and a little old boy down yonder in the prison Amen. He told me my dream. And it happened just like he said. And the king said, bring him. Amen. And God is upon him. And old Joseph began to tell him, the king 
Yeah. Amen. He said, the Lord spoke you. And He showed you. And the reason He showed it to you twice, it's shortly going to come to pass. Woo! He said, it's going to be seven years of plenty. Amen. Like this world has never seen. And He said, then it's coming to famine. Amen. And then all that was, that was growing in the seven years of plenty will be eat up in the famine. So he said, what you need to do is make to your storehouse in Egypt. Amen. And amen. Take all that that was done in the seven years of plenty and story in the storehouse. That amen. When the famine comes, there'll be food. Amen. Praise God. The Bible said, amen. The king wondered who they put over the storehouse. Amen. But you know what? He couldn't go look for nowhere else because God had already chosen one down yonder in his father's house when he began to tell him the dream. Amen. Had a man already prepared to be over the storehouse and it's Joseph. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, Amen. I don't know why this on my heart so strong. Bless you, Lord. But the dog, just like God said, and they put up in the corn, the corn in the storehouse of Egypt. And they put Joseph over the storehouse and he told all the country, so now I'll give him the key to the storehouse and whatever he said to you to do, that you do. Amen. Praise be unto God. And it wasn't long, brother. Amen. Everybody thinks there's no hope. Things is going so bad, amen. They wars oversee, they be heading people. Amen. God said it'd be that way. It shouldn't take you by surprise if you know the word of God. God said it was a coming. And now it's just being fulfilled, amen. amen. But the coming of the Lord is not. I'm so happy today I can't understand it. But amen. Say, preacher, what about our people that's lost? Amen. I'm going to get to that. You see, Joseph's daddy, Jacob, was over our brother. My God, hallelujah. Woo! Come on now, church. Amen. Can't you see it? Praise be unto God. And the word come back in a time of drought, a time of death. There was a word of hope come back to Egypt. Amen. Praise be unto God. Now listen. Come right out of Egypt and out of this world. Amen. I'm going to preach a little bit. Jacob said, Amen. Listen. I'm going to read you another verse. And I'm going to show you what God said. Amen. Praise God. In the 42nd chapter, the Bible says, <laughs> if they were the storehouse in that family, if they could come and buy food. Hey, man. Yeah. Did you know there's a place where men and women, boys and girls, can come and buy food? Hey, man. Buy bread without price, yeah. Yeah. without yeah. money, yeah. and be satisfied? Hey, man. Amen. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now listen. The Bible said now in the 42nd chapter, first verse. Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do you look one upon another? He said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. Amen. May the message of hope, amen, in this dying world that there's a place where men and women can get help, amen, and shelter from the storm when the drowning people are dying all around. And the message of death is in this country. There's a message of hope. I've heard that there's a storehouse in glory. There's a man that holds a key and his name Jesus. Amen. After two full years, Joseph remained in that prison, praise God, waiting for somebody to have a dream. <coughs> but when the time was right, Brian, God put a dream in that king's mind. Amen. And lo and behold, he had a man in prison waiting on him that had the power to tell him what God said. <coughs> Amen. Come on. Amen. Thought about the message that the brother preached Wednesday night about old John in prison. Joseph, amen, was sent in prison because, praise God, if somebody lied, 
John was put in prison because of praise God for telling the truth. Yep. He told his king, amen. He told the king it's unlawful for him to have his brother's wife, amen. Right. And she was so ungodly, she made the king promise that she, he'd bring her John's head on a platter, amen. Yeah. That's how come John the Baptist died, amen. amen. And John died. Now listen to me. Right. Praise God, brother, because he told the truth. Right. Amen. Right. Right. Joseph was there because he told the truth. Right. But truth will always prevail. Right. Amen. In the word of God, when right. Moses went down to Pharaoh's house, right. amen. amen. God, he told, asked God, said, Who should I say sent me? He said, Tell him I am. Right. Amen. Praise God. I am the God of Jacob, right. the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. Right. And praise God, sister, he's the God right. of David Lyle. Amen. He's your God. You ought to know what I'm preaching today. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Touch them all. And the Bible said, Amen. You want me to tell you why I keep a harping and a preaching about the truth? Because there's very little truth in this world, isn't it? Amen. Amen. Moses went down there and he told Moses, He said, You put your hand in your cloak. And when you pull it out, praise God, it'll be leprous. But when you put it back and bring it out again, it'll be pure as a baby. He said, What if they don't believe? He said, Take your staff. He said, when you lay it down, it'll turn into a serpent. The Bible said it did. Just like, oh, Moses done, performed the power of God. But there's always been a mockery, amen. Come on, all the way down through the time, there's always been something that's just about right, but it ain't got the power in it. The Bible said these are they that had a power, that they, amen, that had a form of godliness, but done I in the power thereof. He said, from such turn away. The Bible said there is a way that seemeth right, but the end thereof was dead. The Bible said, oh, Moses went down, and he laid his serpent down, and they sat staff down. It turned into a serpent, amen. Well, Pharaoh, he brought in his soothsayers and his witchcraft. And they all had a staff and they laid it down beside of Moses. Hey man, and it become a serpent. And he began to crawl. But you know there was something about that staff that Moses had. It was true, hey man. It was a rod of iron, praise God. Hey man, the Bible said, hey man, it's the serpent that Moses turned into. It swallowed up all the rest, hey man. You see, the truth will prevail. Hey, glory to God, hey man. Yeah. Church trial, oh hey, Lord. Hey, Amen. Amen. Yeah. He said, I've heard that there's corn in Egypt. The little sister had an issue of blood for 12 years. The Bible said she spent all she had, but daily grew worse. Until that day she heard about Jesus. <laughs> and she knew within herself after hearing about Jesus that if she could just touch the garment. Be made holy. Your daughter needs to hear about Jesus. About a storehouse that was set on high. Woo! The Bible said He brought me into the banquet house. And the banner over me is love. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can't you see it? Amen. You want to know what will take her out of the drugs? It'll be the love of God. If she ever unlocks that storehouse, amen, she'll get something else to stay life. Because God put one there that was in control of life. Amen. This story is pretty dear to me because Kelsey taught me a lot one evening. I told you the story about her, praise God, coming going to Bible school at the midnight church and how they hurt her feelings and we prayed, didn't we? Honey? She grew up since then, but this baby. I taught him one thing is to be firm and stand firm on the Word of God and don't let nobody shake you. Hey Amen. I, I tell you, it, and, and I'm proud of my kids. I'm proud of my nieces and my nephews. I'm proud of all my family. Well, one evening in Bible school, this young man come home and the teacher was a teacher and I'll never forget him. Hey Amen. Sometimes they'd use a new revised version, but they carried their King James with them and they wouldn't, they wouldn't bow down. They'd read out their Bible. Amen. Say, preacher, you let your little kids go where they read a different Bible. Amen. I sent the truth with them. Amen. You see, you don't have to worry about your children if you've got them rooted in ground. They can't get them. Amen. amen. Praise God. I, I, and one evening she come back and she said, Dad said, I want you to help me. Said the teacher told me I was wrong. And she said, Dad, I know I'm right. I said, what's going on? She said, that they said that there was only ten uh, sons of Jacob over there. Amen. Praise God. She said, Dad, there's 12. And I said, you're right, honey. There was 12. Hey, man, said, Preacher, where do you get it? She said, Dad, could you help me out the Scripture? She didn't ask me to go talk to them. 
She wanted to know where it was at in the Word of God. I want you to realize, amen, they was 12, amen. The Bible said they was 10 that came to get corn. But Benjamin was left behind. There was 11. They God, they forget about the one. They was over the storehouse in Egypt, amen. And his name of Joseph, he represented the 12 patriarchs, amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Two years went by. Before the word came to Joseph and the king wants to see you. Amen. Now let me read something to you. We think just because it don't happen right when we ask for it, praise God. Huh? Or because it don't happen right when God shows it to us, that it ain't gonna happen. That's a lie right out of hell. And you pray real hard. <laughs> Woo! Praise God, I can tell you right now. There's hope, amen. I can't hardly stand it this morning. What God's done for me. And if I can find it, I want to read it to you this morning. Praise God. In the 40th chapter of the book of Isaiah, and I'm going to read to you something this morning. And praise God, amen. We thank it, brother. That when we ask God to do something, it just happens instantly. But there's always time took place. The children of Israel was over next to the Shittim, amen, down by the river. And they was camped there, and the Bible said for three days, amen, getting ready to move over Jordan, wasn't it, brother? And the Bible said that the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant passed through the camp. And they began to speak. He said, when you see the Ark of the Covenant of the camp of Israel pass by you, he said, don't go before it or come not, but follow after it, amen. Because you've not been this way before, amen. Just follow it. But he went through the Bible, said that Joshua preached unto the people, sanctify yourself and make ready, amen, for the Lord's going to do wonders among you in the morning. Praise God, there's something coming, brother. Amen. <coughs> Three days. There's a timetable. Yeah. <coughs> always been a time limit on the bank. But God always worked. Amen. When the children of Israel, praise God, come down to the Red Sea. And the Pharaoh was about to catch them, amen. The Bible said they camped overnight. Right there in the presence of the enemy, they couldn't even see him because of God's hand that doesn't come between them. But the Bible said he worked for them all night long. He spoke to the east wind and it began to blow. It blowed all night long. The Bible said. You see, child of God, there's something stirring to you in this world. That praise God that you can't even see this you see. But in the morning, brother, they lost all hope that night before they went to bed. But in the morning, Amen. Praise God. The Bible said when they woke up that the waters would put. Amen. <laughs> Stand up. And the children of Israel all crossed on dry land. Can I get them in there? Come on. Praise God. Amen. The Bible said, Amen. I don't know why it's on my mind. I'm going to go to the 26th, the 25th verse, the 40th chapter of the book of Isaiah. He said, To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal? Saith the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things that brought, that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth them all by names, by the greatness of his might. For that he is strong in power, not one falleth, faileth. Amen. And he said, Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the Creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. 
than to them that have no might, He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Woo! Praise God. Amen. I'm glad for the greatness of an almighty God. Amen. I'm glad that the things I prayed for years ago is about to come to pass. Amen. I can see it unfolding and things is about to happen. God's fixing to show somebody His greatness. Face hope. Amen. I don't care how bad it looks, there's still hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody that's ever called me, everybody that's ever asked you for advice, Jeff, I tell them, it's in Jesus. They say you sound like a recording. I say I can't help it. It's all I know. It's Jesus. If you want victory, you're going to have to give it to Jesus. Amen. If you want your baby spout, praise God, you're going to have to give it to Jesus. Amen. And you know what? He's got out there. He's got an all-seeing eye, brother. And He's got people that's looking. I pray God they'll bring her to you. I believe. My God, I'm feeling. Hey, do you believe in church? Hey, God, you're searching. My baby, one of these doors out there, you don't know where she is at. You're just in there, ain't you? Praise God, but one man's denied. I'm glad that they look out of family, my God. Bro, she do him, hallelujah. Hey, my Lord. Hey, my Lord. Didn't even know where he's at, did you, Kenny? Found him down yonder and under a cross, didn't you? Way down in South Carolina. Lost his car. Didn't know where his car is at, did he? When he come to himself, he's just sitting under a cross. Amen. Amen. That's what prayers can do, ain't it, Kenny? Amen. The same God that found your baby. Can find yours. Amen. Amen. There's a storehouse, brother. Amen. Just ask him to scuff the key. Praise Amen. Amen. He's one of searching already this morning. I believe while the prayers are being made, God sent to somebody out of heaven. Amen. The Holy Ghost. Amen. He's a searching for heart to say, preacher, I don't believe it. I don't care what you believe. Amen. 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 I didn't preach, Amen, to convince you. I preached to let you know what I know. Amen. Amen. What I know. I know, sister, that there's still hope. I've heard that there's corn in Egypt. Death all around you. And there's still a lot place where you can get life. Ain't it good, amen? To know there's hope for your family. Sister, there's hope for your mama, for your grandma. Where would we be if we didn't believe back to see? Hope for our children. It's been a time or two I thought about giving up. We come down, I don't know why this come to my mind, but we come down a little horse creek one evening, me and BJ. And there's a young lady sitting up here and up here in the road, praise God, had a little pickup truck and they'd knocked the switch out of it and hot wired it, hadn't it? I don't know if the truck had been stolen. She was half dressed, hey man, didn't have enough on hardly to hide anything she had and her bouncing around. On mess so strong she couldn't get it, couldn't get it started. He quit on her, couldn't get it started. Hey Amen. So we helped her, stopped and helped her. And you know why? I didn't see a young lady on drugs. Hey Amen. You know what I saw? Hey I saw the prayers huh? of a mama and a daddy. Hey, hey that they prayed for their baby. That somebody hey that God had watched over. That somebody would come by and do her no harm. Hey that somebody, hey man, would come by and help her break up. You know what? God sent a preacher by. Glory to God. Amen. So what'd you do, preacher? We helped her hot water that thing and get gone before she could go home. Hey man. Hey man. What did he call you? What did he call me? 
I'd have told them I was helping somebody's baby. Amen. Amen. What are you doing, preacher? I'm trying my best to make a difference. Amen. And you know what I'm going to pray? I'm going to pray God to send somebody that loves you Amen. to find your baby. Amen. Amen. So it might not be, hey, let me tell you something. Your kids are young now. They're under the safety of your house, but when they get a little older, you'll know what worries are about. Amen. When you can't control what they do and where they're at and who they're with, that's when the heartaches come. That's when the worries come, sister. And you pray with every bit of your being that God will touch them and watch over them and then things seem like they get a little worse and a little worse. And then all at once, God begins to stop. Amen. And they have to do something. Amen. Amen. Sister, I've been praying for your babies. <laughs> Where they're at, they're sober. Amen. Ah, come on. And when they come out, they may be a new creature. Can I get an amen? amen. I know people sitting right here, Brother Jamie. Amen. If he hadn't been for the prison, they might be up there where you'd have been probably over yonder, laying in the grave somewhere. But I thank God that God had a storehouse and I heard a message about hope. Amen. amen. Woo! Look around you. If it wasn't for the man that had the keys, you wouldn't have a wife for a baby to be proud of. Amen. 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 Bless him, Lord. Amen. You'll see what God can do with this little girl. Yeah. I'll see the blessings of God. Look at this young man. There's a lot of people give up hope on this boy. Every time I can pray, I can see his blue eyes. I went and preached at the wagon trains of this world and faced the ridicule of the churches and the people in the wagon trains and everything else for one purpose that people could be delivered. Heather's heard me preach. She knows where I come from. She knows where I've stood on this thing in my life. Amen. And I've always preached. I've heard these four in the There's a message of hope. Amen. And here they are. Amen. Don't tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. So I made my mind up, Mitchell. If people don't want us, that's okay. I'm going to keep a preaching. Amen. I'm going to go right by them. And I'm going to talk to those that's lost, praise God. And I'm going to tell them if there's hope, you don't have to die without God. Amen. In the storehouse. And he's got things and I'm going to hush. They've been two years past, Mitchell. We prayed about a lot of things that I ain't seen happen yet, but it's coming. God said it's close. And when it happens, I might get to go home. Amen. You see, I can't go until God gets done with me. Sometimes I get discouraged. Sometimes I want to quit. Sometimes I don't want to do nothing. God said, just go on this little farther. I'll let you see. I was burning down with my mom until my sister went to talking. About the lady come out of 9-11, amen, and come to the hospital to see my mother and come for my sister. She didn't come for mom. Man, my sister needed to see the power of God. They did get a little closer to God, amen. God sees his soul to something. Amen. 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 We all have problems. We all have battles. We've all been talked about. And we'll be talked about right on down through time. Amen. This brother even mentioned in prayer, people's talking about our church trying to tear it down. If we'll bind together, they can't touch. Amen. 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 And if you'll go with me, praise God, we'll go talk to these people. Amen. I'll just find out what's the problem. I'm just nut anyway, man. But I tell you right now, if you don't like us, you don't have to be around us. Amen. But as long as I'm pastor in this church, we're going to make a difference in Ice County. Amen. God be my help with you. I'm going to lead you. I'm going to guide you. And praise God, we're going to work together to make a difference. If you'll bind together and love one another, and help one another through the hard times, I promise you, you will stand. Amen.
Nej, det er ikke. Det er en stor hals. I'm going to hush. Who's going to sing? We're going to get us a song and praise God. We're going to fellowship, pray, whatever you need. But you better pray for your preacher. It ain't easy. It ain't supposed to be easy. You've been set aside by the Lord. Amen. The Bible said, this is what the Bible said, church. The Bible said, they would hate you for my name's sake and the gospel. He didn't say they'd dislike you, sister. He said they would hate you. Amen. And some of us is going to be put to death. Amen. Amen. That's Bible, ain't it? Amen. Amen. Some of us are going to be put to death. They wasn't the Word of God. Amen, David. It might come tomorrow. It might come today. But what are you going to say? If they say deny Christ and die, are you going to deny Him or are you going to just have to die? I guess I'll have to go home. Do you know the best part about this? The Bible said they ain't even a weapon for prayer that can come against you. They can't kill you unless it's your time to leave this world. Amen. Yeah. Hey man, I love you. Just remember, there's a storehouse, and sister, these things are coming. We prayed about for a long time. Hey man, Joseph, ain't no doubt in my mind. He sort of wondered. Mine went back to old John the Baptist. The Bible said John sent two to find Jesus. <coughs> Preached here Wednesday night. And he said, "Are thou the one, or should we look for another?" Jesus said, you go tell my servant John again. Go tell him again. That the blind to see and the deaf to hear, the lame to walk. Huh? And the dead are being raised. And the poor has got the gospel preaching to them. Go tell him what you've seen. Amen. God is still the same. And there's nothing changed. Amen. You don't have to go with something new. Praise God. Just stick with what's happened. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. You don't have to dig a new well. Just praise God to clean out the old. Amen. There's water there if you're looking for it. I'm going to hush. Buck, you going to sing? Page 338. 338. <laughs> if you need to pray, you come on. I about forgot about Jesus. 